Will somebody please cue that boy? Samurai Pizza Cat. Oh, yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping up crime, and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter uh, makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid That's me. of going in the battle with the bad guys in vain. Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here come the pizza cats. They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> In our last episode, Bad Bird somehow acquired this magical newfangled flute weaponry thing, which he brought to the immediate attention of our heroes. Never backing down from a challenge, they gave it their best shot, but to no avail. The pizza cats were simply blown away by its power, but Speedy was not so easily conquered. He fought against Bad Bird tirelessly. He was amazing. He was extraordinary. He was phenomenal. He was stunning. Actually, he was stunned when he hit a tree trunk and fell to the ground in what was believed to be his last show. Could this really be Bad Bird's big break? <laughs> Without you, there's a big piece of the pie missing, Speedy. There'll never be another Speedy Serviche, I'll tell you that. What should we charge for the memorial salad? You bet I'm evil! They don't call me Bad Bird for nothing! Oh, oh boy, I'm still alive. Oh, oh, oh. But Samurai Pride had overcome him. To handle his miserable defeat, Speedy headed west towards the great Guru Lu for some sage advice. Or is it coriander? Parsley? Hmm. I gotta get Bibi. Oh, please, Lu. You gotta help me. He's got this magic weapon thing. This, uh... Yeah, but of course, you know all about it, being that you're a great seer of good and gruesome doings, Al. I mean, Lou. Anyways, we gotta come up with some new trick. New potion, new gimmick, new weapon, new robot, new something that can conquer Bad Bird and his fancy newfangled thingamabob. Hey, by the way, what's new with you, Lou? That's enough! Oh, thanks, I needed that. You wanna fight with big robots now, do you? Just like the others. Well, that is not how you were taught. I will leave you to find your inner strength, Samurai Cat. Come back! What did Guru Lu mean by that? He meant to remind me that I must fight with my inner power! The Samurai Pizza Cat Power! <laughs> I hope that darn cat will go away. Teach you to mess with Speedy, the samurai pizza cat, you old sack of throw feathers. You're nothing but pillow stuffing. Yeah. I guess this means he'll be staying for dinner. <laughs> Come on, Edward. Just one step at a time. Speedy trained as he'd never trained before, making his body strong, all the while strengthening his spirit. My spirit needs a burner. In the night, exhausted, he slept a deep and dreamless sleep. Duh! Huh? What was that? The answer lies with the Supreme Catatonic. I think it's gonna happen again. The answer lies with the Supreme Catatonic. Thanks again. Now I'm off to Mount Coochie. Coochie-coo to you too, little fella. Bye-bye. 
<laughs> that vision in the night that always gets him. <laughs> so Speedy headed for Mount Kuchi in a quest for knowledge which Guru Lu led him to believe he would ascertain from the Supreme Catatonic. Or was that the wild goose? This is a day that will live in infamy. <laughs> Read my shout. Don't hold back your feelings. Tell us how horrible you really feel about it. I feel so lighthearted that I could fly, Jerry. Fly. Quit flapping your wings around so hard, Cheesy. You're bringing up a draft. <laughs> I'm just so happy that we got rid of that speedy fella. Well then, now, yes, I have that bad bird to thank. Bad bird, yoo-hoo, come out, come out. <laughs> My rival, Speedy Ceviche, and a good one at that. Villainy will not be the same without you to conquer. BRDB, you big hero. I hate this part of the ceremony. Get a new ceremony. Get a new hero. And while you're at a Seymour, get a new mouthwash. Oh, now I feel like singing. <laughs> Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. If you think that was bad, just wait until he gives you a medal. You ain't seen a ceremony till you've seen the cheese with his tail draped in popcorn. People of Chase Land, I've got a great job for you. A little bird told it to me. But first, I'd like to sing you one of my hits. Like, oh boy, it's a wonderful, cheesy kind of day. Don't you just love it? <laughs> Better get out there and do something. Just what I've been saying, Al. And so it was that all of the remaining pizza cats were called on duty. What was that? Who was that? What was that? Didn't I just say what it was? I think the narrator said it was the pizza cats, Mom. Never, Never fear, pizza, pizza cats are here. Not me, team. I'm not afraid of you. I'm the one with all the talent. You should see him juggle those flaming batons. Yeah, it'll bring tears to your feathers. I defy you to stop me. I'm invincible! Standing at the base of the Supreme Catatonic, Speedy knew he'd come to the right place for his answer. Yeah, but I forgot the question. Huh? <laughs> Again. Ah! But you have forgotten your code. 
three arrows are stronger than one. I have spoken. Hey, wait! I wonder if he left this sword for a reason. Oh boy, that speedy never was too quick. Huh? Hey, hey, Lou, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, Speedy? Guru Lou, tell me who that strange visitor was. Uh, a visitor? Mm. Listen close, and I will explain it to you. <clears throat> Your visitor is a manifestation of the Supreme Catatonic himself who dons a robe for special occasion. Which is a very fancy way of saying that he had no idea who Speedy's visitor was, but Speedy was impressed. Whoa! I was totally creamed by a manifestation. What in the heck was that ghost turkey beating me up about? Calm down now. The Supreme Catatonic and his infinite wisdom and smarts and stuff has his reasons. Good enough. Uh, what was the meaning of the three arrows? Hmm. Uh, make something up. Uh, well, uh, uh, I could, of course, tell you all about it. But isn't it a part of a samurai code to figure these things out yourself? That is, if you're truly a samurai, most gullible one. Yes, I understand your lesson well, and I will find the answer on my own. Ah, uh, and I was just about to get to the Tooth Fairy. Okay, I gotta get to your house and train! Well, wait! Oh, what's the use? He can always gather firewood and chase my mother-in-law away. Although Guru Lu's mother-in-law never enters into this episode, Speedy carried his firewood as he trained for the day when he might finally figure out exactly why he was doing this. His mind so full of questions, Speedy didn't notice his arm so full of timber. Let's see now. Three arrows. If I could just come up with some kind of ridiculous story to tell Speedy, maybe he'll leave my house. My house! I sure miss my partners, Guido, Polly, and Francine. Well, let's see, one arrow is not very strong. Ooh, it built up those pectorals. Now, what about three? Ah! The meaning of the arrow is not in the sticks! What was that? This kitty has to go! It occurs to me, Speedy Cerviche, that after all of your exercise, you have come up with the meaning of your vision, and that it has to do mostly with your friends, Polly and Guido, get it? You mean there's no place like home and three samurai pizza cats are stronger than an old twig? Whatever turns you on. I must go back. Back from whence you came. Back where I'm most needed. To face the music. Of the bad bird polka. The time is now. Cha-cha-cha. I'm sorry to see him go. Like I enjoy hair in my suit, mud in my jockey shorts, and spider webs in my chocolate bars. Well, time to rebuild my house. He's gone! I just threw my solo act and blew him away! <laughs> I've had enough of this feathered Frankenstein! Ditto, Guido, let's go teach him a lesson! You can't! You've never gone out there without Speedy! Nothing we can do will bring him back, but we can't just curl up into our litter boxes. Leo's right. It's time we groomed our whiskers and got back into action. I'd come, but Mom doesn't let me fly. Anybody home? Hmm? Oh, I bet it's those pepperoni activists again. I'm gonna... Hey, what happened? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> So, you're all right. I knew you'd be glad to see me. Of course we're glad to see you, and now that you're home safe, you could get lost! Hey, I went through enlightenment. Now let's go get Bad Bird and teach him a thing or two about messing with the pizza cats. Hmm? Yo! The pizza cats are coming and they've got a big surprise! Better pinch your tush and swap our cheek, you won't believe your eyes! Yeah, that's right! <laughs> and remember, kids, get your free Mount Coochie Warrior show. Once again, the Samurai Pizza Cats were flying high and strong in the sky. But down in the city was a different tale. Here, the feathers were flying, wreaking havoc on the nerves and microphones of its citizens. And should you elect me for mayor of our fair city, there will be yearly picnics in our beautiful park. A thousand points of light in every fireplace and read my lips, there will be no new taxes. Hey, Mom, what are you talking about? I don't know, son, but I heard that cute Mr. Sonny Bono talking like this on TV. Is he really a mayor, Mother? Just vote for me and I'll buy you a brand new toy. Right on! Yes! All right, it's time we brought out the erector. 
right! In the name of the samurai, eat the cats, we warn you! Surrender! Give up! We've got you now! <laughs> and smoke without speedy ceviche. <laughs> Fellow citizens, Bad Bird is just a good-for-nothing little bully with a big mouth attached. Clobber him in the name of Little Tokyo! Wait goodbye to all your fans, Mother Bear. Mother! So much for life in politics, Junior! <laughs> <laughs> when you need a slice of justice with a side of pepperoni, we deliver hot, hot, hot right to your door. my welcome song for a very special guest. Love ya! Hey, BB, I got some highlights to show you from the trip you sent me on. Wanna see? That ticket was for a one-way special passage! Then it looks like I got a good deal. Ah, but you're supposed to be. Well, I ain't, so what are you gonna do? Take a guess, kitty. Oh. What do you think he'll do? He will be throwing him a welcome home party. He's alive! He's alive! We're supposed to be rid of him! Now calm down, Cheesy, and don't be getting your kimono all in a tangle! Have faith in evil! Well, all right. That's my boy! Roses are red and blue, Cheese is green. I like to see you think like me, obnoxious and so mean! <laughs> so I came back all the way from the dead to teach you a lesson! And I am grateful for the opportunity to learn yet another way to get rid of you again, Furball! <laughs> Is that right? Well, we'll see who gets the last laugh here, Bird. I have the soldiers of goodness and virtue by my side, and with them, we can be nothing but victorious. These are the arrows that together will overwhelm you! Polly Esther, Guido, and me! Welcome, Welcome ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen to, to the, the greatest, greatest show on TV! TV. Starring Guido Anchovy! Sweet Polly Esther! And your old pals, Speedy Ceviche. We're back, we're better than ever, and we're here to boogie! I'll give him a show. <laughs> this is the Arrow of Love! What? The Arrow of Passion! For evil. Don't lose heart. There's still other episodes in this series. What do you say we blow ourselves up for a little attention? Nah, not tonight. I have a headache. It'll do you good. Arriba Dance. Don't you feel better already? <laughs> yes! The pizza cats do it again! Francine, what a perfect thought to go with the sunset. It looks like a pizza. Maybe this is a good time to tell you about my travels to Mount Kuchi. Who'd you see, a guy in a black tutu? What'd he look like? Yeah, tell us. Well, it was more of a cape. And he came from smoke? <laughs> he was more like a vision. Sure he was, and he challenged you to a duel and left you his mighty sword, and he taught you a great moral lesson. Well then, there's nothing left for me to tell you about, Francie. <laughs> now tell us what really happened. <laughs> and so ends a very special exploration of one samurai's quest for truth, and the journey which took him beyond his cat box, only to find that it was lying back in his kitty litter all the while he strayed. Whatever that means. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The Pizza Cats are samurai, and I'd like to note... Your antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. 
So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Do you like the show? It's the best that we could do. Come on, right, Pizza Cat. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know the cats will be back for another big show. 